Yes, we're covering the uprising in Libya. It's been uh, actually the fourth or fifth day of protest there. It started all uh, last week. Only one protester was killed in the city of Benghazi. People finished burying him. They came to the city towards the military bases. That was when military forces in Libya started opening fire on people, and that is when the number of casualties and the killed rose. The situation ever since has been very, very chaotic. The number of the people killed has been a record in itself. The latest numbers that we had to topped the uh, 300 figure. The latest development is that uh, uh, Libyan government has uh, uh, ordered the military to uh, um, fly its warplanes over some areas of Tripoli in order to uh, bomb people. And uh, some of the pilots on those planes have done so. Some of them have not. Two of them who have been described as senior colonels within the uh, Air Force have uh, diverted and have taken their planes and landed in the Mediterranean uh, island of Malta. Let's just go to Libya for ourselves. Listen to some of the sentiment that is now brewing in that country. We're going to come back and I'm going to be joined by uh, two people to discuss the recent developments there. This is uh, what Libya more or less looks like these days. You can see the sentiment of, uh, of those people of here. That's the city of Benghazi. Some reports say that is it, uh, it is in uh, the hands of the protesters now, although it is uh, unconfirmed. Uh, and uh, we have also reports of some parts of the city of Benghazi controlled by the military forces. Then it is uh, exchanged for another area within the city. Um, meaning uh, that military forces uh, controlling one area, five minutes later maybe people are controlling that area. The uh, skirmishes of the recent days have also, last night actually, they reached uh, the city of Tripoli. The situation there has also been uh, reported as very, very unstable. Of course, uh, uh, like uh, we aired the, the speech of uh, Gaddafi's sons last night, Saif al-Islam Gaddafi, in his speech he said that they're going to remain in Libya that is he and his father and the ruling family and they're gonna fight for Libya until their last bullet